Good morning, everyone. Hope you're having a great day. Hey, I got a quick question to ask you guys. How many of you would consider yourself to be a perfectionist? Yeah, before you get excited and say, that's me, I am one. You gotta know, being a perfectionist is not generally a good thing to be all the time. Now, we all hear the story about parents getting mad at their kids because they got an 89 on a math test. And I generally tell those parents, they gotta be positive. I want you to get them to respond back to me with, uh, it's actually pronounced B plus. And we really want my kids to get A's. Sorry, you're a bad influence. Uh, granted, I stand corrected. All joking aside, though, the big problem with being a perfectionist is that they generally wait for the perfect opportunity to get started on a project or to get started on anything. You know, and that perfect moment may never come. Or if it does come, how many years would have gone by? How much time would have been wasted when they could be off doing great things? It's not beneficial. You want to go back to school, get a degree, get an advanced degree. Even if you want to start working out, get it healthy as you get older. You sit and say, you know what? Not this week, next week, or not this month, next month, or next year. I'll get there. You're wasting your time. Okay, because that perfect moment, whatever you're waiting for, that perfect moment is not going to happen. Granted, there are situations where you got to wait for this perfect moment. For instance, crossing the street. Please look both ways. Don't let this video influence you in being reckless in life. Uh, all right, listen, another problem with perfectionists, that perfection is a moving target. You know, you're gonna get good at whatever you do. Everybody gets good at things they get themselves into. You put in the time, you work hard, put in the hours. It's just natural. You're gonna become good at what you do. The problem with the perfectionists though, that they might not be satisfied with the small success that they've accomplished. And they'll always set in the bar higher. And then from there, they might be afraid to proceed because they're afraid of failure, afraid of mistakes, afraid of not doing the next step perfectly. They become their own optimals. Okay? So, <laughs> I generally focus on progress, not perfection. You gotta take baby steps, guys. You know, we as humans were not programmed to be perfectionists. We become a perfectionist because we look at other people and how they portray their lives, you know, to make the other people think that their lives are so perfect or, you know, you might get it from your parents. You have to do better in life. You know, if we were, ba when we were babies, if we waited for that perfect first step when we were trying to figure out how to walk, we would never walk. How many times have you seen babies fall trying to walk? So what happened, guys? Let's just get back to the basics. Get out there and don't wait for the perfect moment. Just get out there and just start driving. You know, making a mistake is not necessarily a bad thing learn from it. You know, making a mistake doesn't mean you're a failure. It means that you're trying. And I always say, it's always better to make a mistake than to fake perfection. Remember that, guys. Take that one with you. Well, anyway, I hope this message gets to you guys loud and clear and I hope you guys continue to have a wonderful day a wonderful week a wonderful year a wonderful life and you know what I'll be talking to you guys soon so long